I'm Patrick Law. I'm here at Ern County High School, and I am performing our resting blood or resting heart rate and blood pressure lab. Uh, here with me today is Charlotte Pennington. Hello. She is our school nurse here at Ern County High School. She's going to help me today with our uh, first lab that we have to do. Uh, first of all, Charlotte, the purpose of this lab is for exercise testing and prescription. Um, with this, we conduct a pre-screen of uh, risk stratifications and a questionnaire of assessments so basically uh, need to know like overall health uh, health history within your family if there's any potential high blood pressure diabetes anything of that nature that could affect the assessment results today what we'll be testing for today is the resting blood pressure or resting heart rate and your resting blood pressure uh, what we'll conduct first is we're going to conduct a radial test which is located right here within the wrist and what we'll be doing here is we are checking her heart rate when she is seated at a rested level so she has been seating for about five minutes uh, roughly and with this this will give me a good indication of where her resting heart rate is at and the purpose of that is to demonstrate that she will be at a normal level and if her heart rate is extremely high as she's resting then it might be a dangerous level if she is to engage in physical activity. So what I'll do here, if you can hold the camera, okay? If you want, you can just relax and put your arm down on the armrest. So right here, uh, within the wrist right here, we'll find her radial pulse. And now that I have her radial pulse, I'll be counting for 15 seconds. So once my watch hits zero okay so she's at 16 so what I'll do there since I did a 15 second count and she's at 16 you take whatever the number is that you counted to and you times it by four what that does is that gives you a 60 second count for a full minute and so 16 times 4 would be 64 so that would be her level right there um, with that that's really good you want to be as close to 60 as you can per minute next what we'll be going to is we'll be taking her resting blood pressure with this resting blood pressure the cuff that I have here is an adult large cuff uh, most times dealing with adults you'll need an adult large cuff where I'll be placing the cuff is along her arm, on her upper arm, along the brachial artery. The reason we're uh, placing the cuff here along the brachial artery is because this is where this will actually read the blood pressure. Uh, you want to make sure that it's nice and tight, but you don't want to make sure that it's already too tight before I pump up the, the cuff itself. Uh, let's see, and then with the stethoscope here, the stethoscope that we have right here has two headsets. What this will do is that since uh, Miss Pennington here is a nurse, she will actually be able to listen and hear what I am actually hearing at the same time. So this will actually clarify if I'm getting the accurate reading and that we agree on what the reading is. If the reading, uh, if I, let's say I get like 120 over 80 and she got something a little bit lower, a little bit higher, then we'll rest a minute, let her relax, and then after about a minute to two minutes, we'll go ahead and do it again to confirm that we get the exact same uh, read. Yep. There you go. Place it in there. Now, uh, where the stethoscope is going to be placed is inside the, how do you pronounce it again? Anacubital. Anacubital space. So with the anacubital space, it meets right down below the elbow, or not in the below the elbow, but right inside of the elbow. What this allows to do is to hear the, uh, the heartbeat and the blood pressure. As I increase the cuff itself, once I hear, you said it, is it crystal? Systolic. Okay, well the, the sounds, once I hear the sounds, Uh, well, 
120 over, I think, 86. Yeah, 120 yes. over 86. Yep. And then, so with that being 120 over 86, the systolic pressure is uh, in normal range where what's recommended. With the systolic being at 86, um, depending on if the systolic is also above a normal range, say like 120 to around 139, or the, and the diastolic is above 80, then sometimes that can be pre-hypertensive. Uh, but in this case, since she was at right at 120 and her bottom level was 26 or 86, so she was in the normal range. So. Um, like I said before, the purpose of this lab is to test the participant who is wanting to engage in physical activity at a normal resting level. So with her ability to uh, have a resting blood pressure at a normal level of 180 or 120 over 86 and a resting heart rate at 64, I said she'd be in a very good level to participate in physical activity and go throughout the exercise testing. An individual that might be higher and in such an instance uh, pre-hypertensive or hypertension themselves would need to get a medical and physical release from the doctor and have other examinations because sometimes there could be something else going on there that we're not aware of. So uh, this is Patrick Wall, Round County High School, and this conducts our uh, resting blood pressure and heart rate lab.